Believers, if you haven't watched my previous uploads about cultural excuses, please watch it. I really recommend you to watch it. Better, pause this video, watch that one, and then come watch this one further. Then you'll understand what I'm about to, what I'm about to say now. When it comes to this COVID-19 pandemic, there is one important thing that is not talked about. One important thing that people, for some reason, they've forgotten all about it. I'm not going to keep you uh, excited for, the, for what it is. I'm just going to say it. Where is ISIS? You still remember what ISIS used to be, or Daesh, that a caliphate, a so-called caliphate, Islamic terror group, Islamic, or that terror group that wanted to enforce Sharia law and all of that, that terror group that allegedly committed terrorist attacks throughout Europe and beyond, they even committed terrorist attacks in Australia, in Indonesia, they were all over the place. Suddenly, where are they? Why? In 2019, you barely heard anything about Daesh anymore. That's a bit weird. Now, you have this pandemic that came out of nowhere. And all those terrorist groups kind of went on a holiday. They just disappeared. Hold on, hold on. So first, you had 9-11. That's where this whole war on terror and this fear of Islamic terrorism began. I say Islam because they associate the terror with Islam, even though, realistically speaking, they're not really that much connected because terror can be used for any religious affiliation. But okay, you have this Islam-inspired Ter terrorism that became the boogeyman since 9-11. So you had various invasions of various countries that followed, and suddenly it cooled down. Then came Gaddafi. Gaddafi had to be removed because hey, he was violating human rights. Whether it was true or not, it doesn't matter. Just bombed, just went all over the country, over Libya. Then you had issues with Syria, and then came Syrian rebels, and then from Syrian, Syrian rebels, which American troops supported, you had ISIS. And then you had the refugee crisis that occurred. Then you had the rise in ex, ri, ex, extreme right-wing parties in Europe. And then for, you had uh, the Trump presidency. So when you look at the whole situation, I'm not saying that this is just a script that the wizards just play out smoothly because they're just human beings at the end of the day making use of demonic aid and demons are limited. What I'm telling you is that this year, you hear nothing about terrorist groups. And for your information, terrorist groups don't only relate to Islam. You have Catholic terrorist groups, you have Buddhist terrorist groups, you have Hindu terrorist groups, act for India. So you have terrorist groups all over the world, smacking the population to get their political agendas met. So where are they? Oh no, Rashid, they're all staying at home because they're afraid of the virus. They were not afraid to put um, explosives on their bodies and go into public and blow up themselves. They were not afraid of endangering their own lives just to bring down others uh, to worship their demons. And some terrorist groups were even experimenting with biological warfare. 
So, where are they? So, it appears as if this COVID-19 pandemic is used to divert our attention away from all the other issues that are afflicting mankind. You still have various other diseases like cancer, um, you have the flu that kills many people, you have uh, diabetes, you have um, MS, I don't know how to call it, what the English variant of that is, or, or you have um, HLS is another one. Okay, maybe in English you have the same abbreviations, but anyway, those diseases also kill a lot of people. The regular flu still kills a lot of folks also. So you have all those other diseases that are still around, affecting millions of people, but you only hear about Corona, Corona, Corona. I mean, come on. And there are also people dying of car accidents. There are people dying of gun violence. There are people dying of uh, malnutrition. So, what happens to all the other dangers afflicting mankind? Why is it as if all the problems of mankind now are due to this tiny virus? And all efforts are on fighting this tiny virus. Your human, your human rights are violated just to uh, fight this virus. With human rights, I'm not talking about privacy, private lives, and all those selfish entitlements people cling on to. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your right to be healthy, your, your right to live, and your right to be treated as a decent human being made in the image of God. Those rights, which are natural rights, not political entitlements, because what people call rights often are just political entitlements. I'm not talking into political entitlements. I'm talking about your real natural entitlements that are Christ-centered. They are violated to push his agenda against COVID-19. So that's the one thing I haven't heard many people talk about. What happened to the terrorist groups? There's still money laundry go going on. Despite the economic meltdown that's going on, there's still money laundry going on. So criminal and terrorist groups are still being financed. There's still a drug trade going on. So the drug trade also kills a lot of people. There are a lot of people dying of drug overdoses. You have, you have uh, drug dealers also shooting on one another. So on one another. So why is it that you only talk about COVID-19? Unless this COVID-19 hysteria is really a political hysteria to shut your eyes and your ears from noticing what's being accomplished. Look, when a crisis happens, there are two things you can do. You can check how to, how you can, you can adapt and use the crisis to your advantage, or you can mirror and complain and perish with the crisis. Now, the Apollonians who govern this world behind the scenes, they don't control everything because they're just human beings who use demonic aid. So things catch them by surprise also, and some of their plans also backfire on them with disastrous consequences. So when that happens, when their plans backfire, they adapt in order to continue with their agenda. But the public out there, they just lose it. They lose it. So, what I'm asking you is, where are all the reports about ISIS, Daesh, or whatever name they were using? Where are they? Just don't be fooled, please. Be at peace.